Hey guys, facing problems while connecting to SQL Server Management Studio? Having this kind of an error while connecting? Lucky for you, I've got a solution here. Okay, so welcome guys, welcome to HM Radio channel. Today we will talk about how to solve the connectivity issues you guys face while trying to start and connect to the SQL Server Manage Management Studio or whichever version it is okay so first let's inspect what kind of error you may experience okay while I open my SQL Server Management Studio and while I try to connect it to the database engine or while you start and run it you will automatically have this window okay so when I start and click this connect button it will take a little bit of time to connect but uh, this is an indication if it's taking a bit longer time this is the indication that uh, something is wrong behind the scenes okay so as you can see it's lagging, uh, taking a bit long time it'll give me an error so this is the kind of error most of you guys experience while connecting to SQL management studio so I have a solution here that I tried and it worked for me there might be other possible solutions and other problems as well but uh, the thing that occurred to me uh, I I was able to solve it so I'm telling you the solution okay so solve it you need to go to the control panel let me first cancel it and uh, okay so let you need to go to the control panel and uh, the, here it is the control panel or you can literally type <coughs> administrative tool yes this is located also this is also located in control panel so I am a shortcut key I will click in the administrative tools okay so in the administrative tools you need to look for the services here you see here it is the services click and open it okay so it will show you the list of the services that are running and are stopped so in these services you need to find you need to scroll down and you need to find the SQL server services so here is SQL server here it is SQL server SQL Express so when you find you will notice that in here uh, sort of type uh, column you can have automatic settings or maybe your settings are disabled so if you have disabled written over here you need to double click it and in the startup type as I have automatically selected here you you would have disabled or something like that so if you have disabled you can click to automatic and then you can click ok after doing that you need to also manually start to do this on the left hand side you can see here it's written the start the service so you need to click on the start the service and it will take a little bit time let's wait for this progress bar to complete so you see now SQL service is running and it'll, it is giving the option to stop it so now when I go to my SQL management studio here and when I try to connect now yeah it is connected so you'll see the option bar here yes so you see problem resolved stay tuned for more tutorials